everybody, Mike Dukes here. I'm with Chelsea, and this is Trista. I'd like to point out that there are a lot of dogs barking all around us. Not batting an eye. <laughs> Perfectly calm. So what do we know about Trista? Trista has been here since early September. Um, we have her around roughly nine years old. So she's an older cat. Um, she doesn't really do much of anything. Um, none of the cats here really do. She does a, she, she likes to frolic on her back. She gives you her belly. She is probably the only cat we have that gives you her belly. That's not a very, very common cat thing. She trusts everybody with her belly. <laughs> she likes her belly pet. She's not doing it right now. I think she's just a little, she's not, she's never been in here. That's for sure. But she's still enjoying the pets, the, the head pets and the back pets, not the belly pets. I'm going to take a wild guess and say this would be one that would just plop on your lap and not move. Pretty much. She's purring pretty loud right now. <laughs> she is a lover. Um, we did just recently have her spayed, so her fee would be $30 still. Um, but she's, she's great. She just needs a lap to retire on. Not that, she, not that she's super old. She's an older, older girl, but maybe, maybe her early retirement. <laughs> She deserves it. She's been here, like I said, since September. She came in with uh, four other cats. Um, they had been abandoned. Not sure if they were. He does it every time, doesn't he? It's a new different thing. door, it's a but new thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, she. I'm not sure if they were abandoned in a house. What what the whole situation was, like I said, it's been it's been a while. We've had a few cats come in since September, but they they deserved it better than being abandoned and the other ones have been adopted out she's the last one here you're the last jedi <laughs> and with most cats pretty obvious with her it could be nerves but just petting her got a lot, got a lot of fur going on so she would like some brushing i would think she would love to be brushed um she's also drooling a little bit that's that's fine little cat drool again like like Keisha, Keisha if you're allergic to cat saliva probably not one for you she drools but unlike Keisha from last week <laughs> she's not really leaping on you and you know oh, giving no. you the kisses uh all over very uh very low maintenance low energy best friend right here she's great all the volunteers love her the staff loves her she's usually she's one of our cleaner cats as well to clean can't be mad at her. It's one of the things about it. Most people, they think, if I'm going to get a dog or a cat, I want a puppy or a kitten. Here's the thing about that. A kitten is just a ball of furry energy. They'll want to run all over the place, possibly scratch all kinds of things they're not supposed to. Someone like this girl here, on the other hand much more laid back. I'm sure she'd, you know, be more than happy to play, but she'd also just really like to plop down either on you or next to you and just hang out. She likes to frolic. Frolic she, on your lap. She's a frolicker. <laughs> There's the belly. And yeah, how many cats, you know, will just roll over and say, here, rub my belly. That's usually a dog thing. Not anymore. And she's not the cat that attacks you the second you touch your belly either. <laughs> That's not a thing. Yeah, usually they might roll over and you start scratching them. Oh, hi, how you doing? <laughs> they start scratching, or you start scratching their belly, and then suddenly you get the rear claws uh, into your hand and wrist because they want to play. That's, that's not her style. She prefers the pets. But yeah, if you're thinking, eh, maybe a cat would be good for me, but I don't want one that's really high maintenance that's going to be running all over, all crazy at night or whatnot, right here. You are the one, aren't you? She is shedding quite a bit, but with some regular brushing, that would go down tremendously. And I'm sure she's just a little nervous for a close-up, but that's fine. She'll be fine. And in a, a place surrounded by barking dogs, I think she's handling it quite well, actually. A little shedding, I, I, I can forgive that. <laughs> 
So if you're looking for that perfect pet and you're not really that active, you don't want someone who's going to be running around at all hours, you just kind of want someone to hang out with you, Trista, that's the way to go. Adoption fee, $30, and with that you get the vet visit, all kinds of goodies. The whole nine yards. Really can't go wrong. I'm fairly certain she'd be, you know, really enjoy having a forever home for Christmas. $30 is a decent price to pay for love. There are other <laughs> more expensive ways to pay for love, and $30 is great for this adorable fluff. I get close to that ordering pizza. Come on, people. <laughs> so get to the Kokomo Humane Society. Come meet Trista. She wants to go home. She wants you to rub her belly. <laughs> so get on down here. And... Wow, Christmas is Monday. Don't remind me. So I guess next time we see... You guys are open on the day after Christmas, aren't you? Yes, we are. I guess, Open up at noon. I guess any, we'll, any other day. I guess we'll see you the day after Christmas. Ooh. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. Yeah. I do, but I don't. Hmm. But hopefully Trista will have a new home by then. Hopefully Trista is laying by a fireplace with 12 new people rubbing her belly. That's that's what I envision. It's like cat Christmas. heaven for her. <laughs> So come to the Kokomo Humane Society, come meet Trista, take her home, make her a part of your family. Have a happy, merry Christmas, and we'll see you after Christmas. Okay.